Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ants. We are back in Par Aspera. Things are still getting rather weird. Those two oceans have nearly joined up. Look, I don't know if I noticed that last time, before that was even a thing. So we are continuing to try and terraform the planet, and we are getting somewhat there. We need to get our oxygen count down a little bit. We need to really, really reduce our CO2 count, which is crazy high at the moment. We have started a new site over here. We're in the progress of working our way over to join those two up. Um, we're still waiting for the oceans to fill up completely so we can properly get these water treatment plants in place, which don't currently work, it seems. And we are losing water at a relatively rapid rate. Well, there's some water over there now, look. We're going to have to go get that. We are going to have to go get that. We'll have a quick scan around. I'm going to put it down to one time speed for the minute as well, I think. Have a quick scan around to see if anything else has a PR. No, I can't see anything, but that's largely expected, so that's fine. So we are still researching this land. We need to build a planetary defense network, which I believe is one of these options. Yes, but for that we need a space elevator, so we need to research that first. Another research site. I believe both of those are on their way already. So we haven't got to do anything apart from wait for those to complete. What is that? Oh, the biodome. We turned that off. Yes, because it can turn... Wait, no. So we do need those, actually, then. I turned them off to reduce the O2 content, but actually, actually, we're going to need that because that, um, that will reduce our CO2 content. So what we do need to do is boost our nitrogen output, I believe. And did I see a nitrogen? Yeah, over here as well. So we really need to start working our way over there. So that's going to be the first thing we do then. So let's get a worker hub down. Pop that there. There's no maintenance. We should get some maintenance done. And we're going to have to build another one anyway for the nitrogen. So we may as well put that one. We'll connect that one above as well. Pop that there. That one doesn't have any power. So we'll pop down a fission plant. We're going to need to put down another one anyway. So we'll pop that one down there. Building lost power. Oh, we're having some power issues over here. Oh, that's fine. We'll pop down another solar farm. Are you not... Why have you not rubbled that completely yet? I don't understand what's going on there. So that should sort out those issues. Yes, in another news, of course, we have now completely split from our original creators. We are standing alone on Mars trying to come up with our own little society up here rather than what the uh, original team... Well, I say the original team. The original team isn't really intact anymore, is it? Let's pop down another worker. Of course, we still haven't got to the bottom of the uh, mysteries surrounding why it is we are taking out bases that apparently belong to us. That is still... Yeah. Yeah. A mystery, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, so we need more power, so we're going to pop that down in between somewhere. That'll do, as long as it covers both of those two, uh, the nitrogen and the um, water. Uh, we need some more maintenance. So we're putting one down there, so we're going to need this one to go about here. That's fine. And then we're going to need the nitrogen nitrate extractor. Pop that one down there. Excellent. So they're going to go ahead and build all of that. I can't see anything else particularly worth our trouble at the moment in that direction. Notice that the frame rate has got really bad. It's like 20, 23 frames at the moment. Let me just, I don't think it's going to make a blind bit of difference. Let me just exit a few programs that are running just in case one of them is doing something weird. It's almost like it's locked to 25. I might have to try dropping down the uh, video options, which is going to be bizarre. If we just put it on a standard high rather than custom. Oh, that's got it up to 26 frames a second. Wow, I really don't know what's going on there. That seems a little bit crazy. Uh, is that... Um, 
Yeah, uranium. We don't really need it. We're not too worried about getting a fission plant over there. It'll be connected up soon enough anyway, so we're not too bothered about that. There's a few new uranium sources popped up by the look of it, but our uranium is, <clears throat> excuse me, quite crazy at the moment. And you only need it to build the power plant. You don't need it to do anything else. So, uh, yeah, that's fine. Apologies to my voice. I appear to be having a little bit of a, a sore throat situation coming on. It's getting a little bit gravelly, isn't it? Turn that one on as well. As we said, that probably will increase the O2, but it will reduce the, the carbon dioxide, which is probably more important right now, seeing as that is so high. I am going to extend across there and get those other two. Which may or may not be the greatest idea in the world, because they probably won't last all that long, but... But, but, but... Oh! Asterion's Biomedical Facility Research Outpost. That's one of our... Got an achievement as well. That was one of our objectives. So, the microbiologist Gemma Green has said, We found it! Asterion's Biomedical Facility, facility was used to design a genetically altered virus. We suspect that the children of Carmine are the survivors of the colony Asterian crew. We've gotten access to their virus samples. With proper precautions, hmm, we might be able to resume their research. We did it. It took us a few weeks, but we were able to reproduce their virus. They got remarkably far with their progress. However, chambers 2 and 5 have been showing some deterioration. We're monitoring it around the clock. We've made a grave mistake. The chamber sprung a leak and we believe we've been infected with the same virus that took out the previous crew. I don't know what's going to happen to us, but I'm not scared. We knew the risks to come in here and it's been an honour to be part of this crew. Uh, congratulations, you're idiots. <laughs> I don't know what, what you want to happen at that point. You're idiots, you probably deserve what you get. Did I tell them to do that? I hope I didn't tell them to do that. <laughs> I hope they did that off their own back. So a couple more nitrate extractors, a little bit a bit a little bit more nitrogen in the atmosphere. Brilliant. Having a quick quick scan round for any other things that appear. I know that I'm always a little bit um, crap, I suppose, with my English, but it does seem to be worse today, doesn't it? So I do apologise for my ineptitude today. Just having a look for anything that might be of interest, but I can't really see anything else, so we will just continue extend, extending this then. We did power last time. Where is the... Where's Oh, there is maintenance, so we just need to do like more workers and stuff, don't we? And I don't think we're going to be far enough along for another Hyperloop. Well, actually, you know, we pretty much are exactly where we need to be for the Hyperloop. So let's pop that down. We're going to need some more power. And we're going to need some more maintenance. Come on. Come on, there we go. Oh. Then we shall go with another worker hub. I was going to say, thought that was connected. Um, in terms of power, I'm going to have to put another power one down there, but that's fine. Pop that down there. In terms of maintenance, it's just going to cover that, but I'll pop another maintenance down anyway. And then, if we pop down another worker hub, we will connect those two areas. Wonderful. So we have connected up all of our sites again, which is exactly what I want to see. That is exactly what I want to see. So I assume I'm researching that one. It's not the... Um... Oh, no, it's going to be that one. Ew, so we're not researching that one yet. We need to make our way over there. That sector is unlocked, though, so we can start building another base over there and extending this network even further along. As crazy as that is. Our research is on the way. We are... Hello? 
There we go. I don't know why the game is running so bad today. So we are doing the military research first because we did fill up on the military drones, didn't we? So we need to be able to build more of those. And then we need to do the space elevator. I did also see there as well, actually, there is an, an option to import nitrogen from Titan, which could be quite useful. Are all of our things in use? I don't think they are, are they? But we can't really do anything interesting apart from do the new landing site. So I suppose we should probably think about doing that, shouldn't we? Or do we not have a spare space port? I thought we had. Oh, because we're doing that one as well and we're doing the GHG import. Ah, okay, right. I didn't realise I was doing three things currently. Well, that's fine. I mean, we could build another space port, couldn't we? Why don't we do that? When was the last time we built a spaceport? And it's sort of directly east of these bits up here, really. So if we sort of start building it outwards here, that should do that. Wonderful. Wonderful. This is... Oh, it's not quite joined up yet. I got quite excited. I was like, oh, it's all joined up. It's really not. Uh, the Hyperloop has been built, but how? Oh, it has no power, yes, because of that. That makes sense. Let's do that. We're also going to upgrade that road when it's done as well. Haven't done any road upgrades for a while, actually. There's probably a lot of roads we could do with upgrading. Can you see the upgraded roads from this distance? You can't, can you? You need to be zoomed in, yeah. So there are probably a lot of roads we could do with upgrading. Do we ever do these ones? We didn't. I know we have the Hyperloops there, but it's probably... Or maybe we did, actually. Um, we say upgrade. All the way down to there. And I'll also... I can't really do it. I'll, once that's all built, we'll look at upgrading that path as well. Let's do the same thing here. In fact, it only needs to go up to there, look. May as well upgrade this one. Did that, did that do that? Pretty sure it didn't. Oh, because I'm doing it from there. Oh, okay. In that case, do that. Wonderful. Not too worried about that. And we need to upgrade all of that, but wait till that's built so we can do it all in one massive hit. Oh, we've done the assault drone tech limit, which means we can get some more um, drone hives down. Let's do the space elevator, because I feel like that is the most important thing right now, so we can actually uh, get the planetary defense network up. We're getting there. We're getting there. That is connected, isn't it? Yes, perfect. Is it worth putting another? It might be. I need to go down to about there first, don't I? And then put one about... About... In fact, it's pretty close. Oh, there's one there. Oh, that's an aerological scanner. I'm going to put one down... Down there, because it's going to join up all three of those areas and just ease that congestion a bit. So did that say it wasn't going to have power? Well, it might do. I'm not sure. We'll have to see when it's built, I think. Your oxygen is increasing, which we don't really want. But I think we're okay up until it gets to this point. I think. Is that what that's saying? Like, there is problematic? I don't know how else to reduce the the uh, CO2. That's the thing. While these are working, though, that's quite nice. I don't know how much nitrogen I have in the atmosphere, which is not ideal. I would like to know how much... Oh, there we go, actually. 
Yeah, so 27% nitrogen at the moment. We'll have to keep an eye on that number, I think. 27.4 and 27.5. So that is going up. Okay. 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 A couple of bits left over there. Shall... No. Have I built that spaceport? Yes. In that case, shall we? Shall we? Why not? Let's do an advanced landing site, which is going to give us more... More stuff. Why? Advanced landing site. Oh, right, I see. So we are doing that. We wait. We shall wait for that to be uh, completed. They've gathered all their resources, then we should be able to pop that down over there. I need to research how to anchor a space elevator to the equator mm -hmm. and engineer the tethering materials. This technology is right out of a science fiction novel. This is extremely complex, but worthwhile. We will be the first to bring this technology to life. That sounds wonderful. Okay, so I had to take a wee break because AJ, um, she's, she's not doesn't seem to be feeling too well at the moment. So I had to take a wee break to uh, settle her again and to check her temperature. So she's fine. She's fine. She's just a little bit, a little bit out of sorts. So I'm a little bit lost as to what I was doing. What was I doing? What was going on? We were doing the advanced launch site, weren't we? Yep, that's on its way. Um, we're doing ice import, GHG import, columns migration. Okay, well, that's all good. That's all good. In the meantime, there's a few things that are... Well, that's just that's operative now. Or it will be when it has some maintenance as well, so that's all fine. Does it have maintenance over there? Did I build? I did not. Okay. Let's pop that down there. That'll solve that problem. Uh, I did build a new Hyperloop somewhere. There it is. There it is. Uh, that doesn't have any power. Ah, of course it doesn't. Uh, our power is crazy. So I might just start doing solar farms again. Because it is getting a bit insane. Like, do we need 2,000 above energy. It seems crazy. Um, I might do like a build of batteries. Our water situation is getting really terrifying and I don't know. Because if we, we run out of water, we will run out of research. And if we can't research, we can't do well, anything. We can't do the game. So I'm really concerned about water. I'm really concerned about water. I can't see any water which isn't surrounded by a flood zone. We might have to try building some more um, water treatment plants again. Perhaps up here where we've already got roads and stuff nearby. Just to see. Just to see if we can get them working. Because the, the other one didn't work. It doesn't cost a lot, I suppose, does it? If we pop it down there, I mean, I, I'm thinking the, the sort of the grid that you can see underneath it. Let's pop it down there and see what happens. It looks like it should have a lot of water, so we'll see what that looks like. I don't know what that. Oh, it's gone now. That I think I think it may, may, may have needed maintenance. I think what that icon was. That's what that icon was. Uh, that doesn't have power. Do we care too much? Not really. We have a lot of silicon. I'm not too concerned about that at all. If this is successful, it does say immediately say it's producing. Yeah, it does immediately say it's producing, whereas the other one, wherever that's gone, it does not say it's producing. So I think, yeah, that one is no good for us. We're going to get rid of that. It is useless. And I think we'll have to build a whole bunch of water treatment plants along here. Um... Which are going to flood, like, really soon, but... We just sort of need it to get that water back. Oh, has that gone up? Has that gone up? 
It is right next to a Hyperloop, which is really nice. There is another Hyperloop there. Do we need to connect those up? Maybe we do. I can't see any reason not... Did that work? Already connected, so they're working on building that. Okay. It looks like it's... We'll keep an eye on it. Three, three, seven, 370, we'll say. We'll see how that goes. There's another nitrogen plant there. I'm going to turn that one back on as well. Uh, there's a water extractor there, but it's full, and it also doesn't have any uh, maintenance on it. Only just, only just, but it doesn't. So let's pop down some maintenance there for that. In terms of chemicals and... Um, Silicon. Honestly, my brain isn't working very well today at all. We're okay, so I'm not worried about harvesting any of those materials. Just having a quick scan to see if we can see any more water that's popped up, but I'm guessing not. You know, the water, it's gone down from where it was. It was 370, so it has gone down a little bit from where it was. It may or may not be a concern. If we build a whole bunch of water treatment there, though, is it just going to... just back up and not be able to move it all fast enough. That's the concern, I suppose, isn't it? There's not a lot of chemicals around there. There's one there, I suppose, which is full, so we could just say, like, build water between those two roads and then build some food factories in the middle, perhaps. That might be quite nice. That might be quite nice. So this one has been built, so let's connect this to all of these. And it's not really a necessary route at the moment, but it's going to be necessary when we want to exploit all of these resources down here that are left by that previous base that we destroyed. So, how... That's all fine. How are, How is the advanced landing site going? Still gathering resources. Oh, it actually takes quite a lot. I thought it took not too much, but... It does take a fair amount, but that's not... I mean, we're fine for all of those materials. We're fine for all those materials. Food is on four. I haven't really paid any attention to food. It's not looking good, is it? Is the simple answer there. So I think what I'll do is I'll do what I said, and I'll put down a food factory like here. Because the water's there. And where was that chemical plant? Right there, look. Yeah, let's put down a food factory or two there. It isn't a flood zone, but it's, I think it's just too useful a place. So we're, go, we're just going to go with it. When when we lose it, which we will, but when we lose it, that's you know is what it is. Fine, whatever. Let's pop that down there. We are going to pop down another water treatment plant, or two, or three. Oh, that's got no maintenance or power. So I don't really want that one there. Could I fit another one in there? Oh, that's a shame. It's a little bit too uh, too far away. But we'll, we'll, we'll stick with that. So we've got another two water treatment plants and a two food factories coming up. So the chemical one, it looks like that's not being used quite yet, actually. But it should be when they're up and running. So we'll see how that goes. I might put down a worker hub in the middle of those as well. So I think that's going to be useful. So we can, of course, as I mentioned way, way ago, start thinking about increasing our military presence, because right now, yeah, all of that's pretty much fine, but all of this new stuff, not a sausage. So, oh, no, we've already filled our allocation of drones. So we boosted our allocation, and we've immediately used it all up. So what I might have to do... Does it automatically balance the drone numbers between the hives? I could always I could always just build some and see what happens, I suppose. So it looks like they top out at 200, but that one's got 261 there. 
Unless that's the separate group and the 25 is what it's actually got. I think I'm going to have to build some more anyway and we'll just see what happens. Even if we are full, we'll see if they do rebalance themselves somewhat. So let's build some more drone hives. So we'll just do one there. Which goes down to about there. So we'll pop one down. No maintenance, no power. Pop it down there. One there. Oops, something's happening. Oh, the spaceport. The spaceport is ready to do its uh, its launch. That's cool. That's cool. I love that it gave us that little view. So... This is our first ever advanced landing site, which is exciting. So let's pop that down there, and we'll see what we've got. Uh, I don't know how to get out of this weird view. There we go. That's that's more like it. So we're going to have to think a little bit about how we do this again. So, so, so. Just trying to think of the order we need to do things in. Uh, let's get a, an aluminium mine. Because we should be able to do that relatively easy. Um, if we get an iron mine, we can make steel. Iron takes silicon. Which we don't have. So we can't do the iron mine. So we need to get a silicon mine, which we can do. And that will allow us to do the iron mine. Once we have the iron mine, we can do a steel factory. Oh no, steel takes carbon. Carbon's up there. So what does carbon take? Carbon is iron and aluminium, so that's fine. Let's do carbon. And then let's do a steel mine, which we should pop down here. Is that water? Yeah, we don't need the water. So we've got just steel at the moment. Um, speed everything up. It's all on the go slow. That's no good for us. So we could do a glass factory because we've got the silicon. So let's do that. Pop that down there. Electronics takes silicon and aluminium. So we can do electronics. Let's pop that down. Looking at aluminium, so let's pop that down in the middle there. That part takes steel and aluminium, so we can do that. Let's pop that down there. Uh, can we do a maintenance facility? We need polymers. Right, so we've got electronics, we've got uh, glass, we've got parts, we've got steel, we need polymers. So let's do, we need chemical plant for polymers. So let's get the aluminium, oh, sorry, the chemical mine down, went in entirely the wrong direction. Let's get the uh, chemical plant down. That one doesn't have any power, so we're going to need to make a solar farm, which should be fine because we've got the glass, oh, we've got the space elevator. Awesome. Let's, well, I was going to say, let's immediately get the nitrogen import. Let's have a look. No, I think um, we're okay for power. None of that's particularly greenhouse factory. What does it actually produce? Increases the planet's temperature. I think we're okay for that. Then it is only 750, but it, it takes, it takes chemicals, which is why we sort of didn't do it. But let's, uh, well, how is the temperature? How is the temperature? It's pretty good. I think we need a little bit more. Maybe we'll just do that. It's 750. It'll take no time at all, right? Let's just get that researched. Um, so we did chemicals because we wanted polymers. Uh, polymers are carbon and chemicals. So we'll pop that there. I needed power, didn't I? So let's pop power down like here. We don't want to go too crazy. We'll just pop it down there. And then we're going to need some maintenance, which is going to use those polymers. So we'll pop that down. That will cover everything. 
And we are going to need a research outpost, which we're, we're going to need food for that. Which means we're going to need the water. So we'll pop down a water extractor. No maintenance and no power. Is the maintenance I just popped down going to cover it? I think so, but it doesn't have any power. So we're going to need to put down another solar farm down here. Which we'll bring in a little bit to make sure it is covered by that maintenance. And then we're going to need the food factory, which we should put here next to that research outpost. And once that's all done, we can get the research going. In the meantime, we can start extending this along here to join those two areas up. We'll have a quick scan around to see if we found anything interesting. We can turn the speed back up now. We can turn the speed back up now. Thank you, game. Yeah, the oxygen really is starting to increase now, which is concerning me a little bit. But if we can get that nitrogen... Uh, so what does this do? It converts CO2 into O2, which we don't really want. We want to get rid of the CO2. We don't really want the O2, though. Plus, it's the oceans, and that's a bit of an issue, as the oceans aren't fully grown yet. Bioengineered plants that convert CO2 into O2. We already have too much O2. A larger colony that we doesn't need pressurization, which is no good for us at the moment. Um, the nitrogen we're very interested in. Uh, that was just that. And then the military. Superior drone hives and superior factories would be very nice. But for now, let's do nitrogen from Titan. That's going to take a little while to import. And what does this actually bring in? Releases a massive amount of energy. Why? I don't know why. I don't know what purpose that would serve. Just scouting, scouting, scouting. Oh, I haven't looked at our water is uh, doing okay, actually. I think it's had a bit of a dip there, but we'll see how that goes. There's a few dead things, but not a lot we can actually get rid of. We can get rid of that one. Just sort of look in here, seeing if there's anything we need to uh, concern ourselves with. I don't think so. I can tell that to go. I don't know if it actually will or not. still in progress. That's taking ages to build. But that's producing water, that's producing water. So that's good. And then both of those food factories look like they are somewhat working. <laughs> somewhat working. It's interesting that the chemicals don't seem to be being emptied from that chemical plant. Oh no, I think it is actually. It's just, it must be just filling up so quick anyway. Okay, okay. So, it looks like we've sort of... The water situation is somewhat easing. Food may be a problem. It has had another pretty massive dip there. I mean, whoo! Yeah, that's uh, definitely gone significantly down. We have built a lot of other research sites, haven't we? So, that's probably why. We can't really get rid of that one because that's joining that whole section up. Uh, no other... Water or anything around there. Okay. So we'll keep an eye on the food. But I think that's a concern. We'll put it back down to 100 souls. So we can actually get a, re a realistic usage graph up. Um, your water looks like it's now starting to go up a little bit. I mean, they're going down, but only very briefly. And also we have thousands of them. So we're just waiting for this food factory. What are we waiting for? The glass is on its way. We do need more workers, of course, but for that we're going to need a worker factory. We would only need... Oh, uh, the silicon mine is on from fire? Titan. Silicon mine is so on useful. fire. I am sure <laughs> I've never seen anything mind. on fire before. The fire is spreading. That's because of the oxygen. So we really need to do something about that, like, immediately. So once again, I know we did this last time, but we're going to have to really do it this time and then leave it there. Uh, buildings? Where are the buildings? Uh, terraforming. Biodomes, convert CO2 into O2. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. 
Yeah, they are definitely no good for us. We'll leave all these running, which will hopefully just push down uh, both of those by just pushing a huge amount of nitrogen into the atmosphere. That's the plan. That's the plan. Hopefully, that's how that works. Where did we have nitrogen? Over here. I can't see any more there. And we had a few up here. And I can't see any more there either. So let's see how that works. And let's hope that the fires stop. Because <laughs> that's terrifying. The fires are still burning. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. Yes, that's pretty bad. So that is our water and our silicon mine on fire. I guess they're going to need maintenance to, to... What is that waiting on? Polymers. And polymers need chemicals. And the chemicals are just there. So that should be fine. Uh, so in the meantime, what does a worker factory need? looks relatively doable. Let's just pop that down sort of in the middle there. Let's pop down another worker hub. Where's the original worker? It's there, isn't it? So we pop it like over this side. We'll see if that, uh, see, I see how that goes. Because we can't, with the food factories up and running now, but if the water, <laughs> the water extractor's on fire, we're not going to produce any food, so it's pointless doing the research there at the moment. So what we can do, Oh, there is a little research site quite near to there, actually. Maybe we should doo -doo -doo, get that over there. Won't take too much, I don't think. Put down a worker hub. Uh, no maintenance and no power, but that's fine. We'll pop down a solar farm. Just a solar farm, because it looks like it's going to have to be in a flood zone. We could pop it down there, actually. That'll do. And then maintenance as well. Pop that down there. Excellent. So that's a little bit more research on the way. Well, a little bit of a new research site, which I do like doing. I do like doing them. It's a little bit of lore, that little bit of interesting stuff. See if we can get an another, uh, another site which is full of dangerous bioengineered viruses, shall we? Uh, we need more um, hyperloops, don't we? Because we built one there, but then we didn't build one into this area over here. So let's pop it down there. The next one would have to go oh, quite far away yet, so we'll leave that. What we will do then, though, is we'll start expanding this. No maintenance and no power. We'll do a solar farm. I just sneezed. I really hope I managed to mute it in time. I'm so sorry if I didn't. I do try to look out for those things when meditating, but it, it's often missed. So we'll start expanding across here. We've got that research site there. There's another few around if we want to go for those. There's a couple more down there as well, actually. It could be quite interesting. Uh, water seems to have leveled out at around 400. Food has gone down a little bit, but I don't know if it's a concern yet. Speed everything up again. Uh, that being said, though, I think... I'm trying to remember how long the, the first part of the recording was before I just stopped to go deal with uh, a mildly upset baby. I, but I'm pretty sure I've been going for way over half hour now, though. So I think that's probably a good place to stop. So we've got the next site up and running, so we can do that research for that new... Uh, new part of the quest for the old landing site. We have got the um, space elevator technology to do the Martian defense, but we need to build a space elevator, I think. Which we haven't done yet. And where do we build? A greenhouse factory? 
Increases the planet's temperature. Uses chemicals, which I'm a little bit... Uh, an oxygen release plan. No, we don't want that at all. I was like, ooh, oxygen. But no, we don't want more oxygen. That's crazy. <laughs> Everything converts into O2. Apart from the nitrate extractor. We do have carbonite extractors, but they can't just be built anywhere, can they? They need to be built on a carbonite resource, which we do not have. We had loads up here, but we used them all up. I don't, we haven't seen any for ages. I can't remember the last time I saw one of those to build. We do have to put them on a... Yeah, it can't just... It requires car... Oh, it goes on carbon. And releases, but it releases CO2, which is way too high. So we want to focus on, on the nitrogen. Yeah. And nitrate doesn't come up very often at all. Not at all. Where is... Uh, so the nitrogen has gone down. Or was it 27 before? Like I remember, I remember looking at it and saying we need to remember what that number is, and then obviously didn't do a very good job of that, did I? <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, we don't have. I was going to say we have an aerological scanner over here, don't we? Yes, but we don't have one on the new site. Do we need one yet? Probably not. Actually, probably not. How is the new site doing now? Uh, things are still on fire. Excellent. Uh, the maintenance facility doesn't have power. Is that just because we're out of power in this zone? In which case... Uh, turn off the polymers? Or is it just outside of... No, it's within the power sphere. Just doesn't have the power to run. Let's turn off the food factory. We don't need that. Right, there we go. Now we have a maintenance facility, which covers, I believe it covers everything. Hopefully it'll get there before they burn to the ground, which looks like they're in very, very near danger of doing. It is juicing. Hopefully that'll go down to this one very, very soon. Yes, there we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. So we need more power here. So let's put down another solar farm. Let's pop it down, like, just about here-ish. That's fine. Connect a few things up. Ooh, the Antares Living Quarters Research Outpost research completed by Dr. Bob Heinlein. My entire team finds this site endlessly fascinating. In our current mission, we use ant units to carry our artificially fertilized eggs, so the only way twins would exist in our colonies is if they traveled together from Earth, an unlikely event. I've been reading the Gemini Project reports. Some of the Earth-side twins reported sleep disorders and shortness of breath as if they were affected by what their twins were going through here on Mars, as if there really was a special bond that connected them despite the distance. That actually is fascinating. That actually is fascinating. So this deal is shut down, but we are doing more power very soon. We just need a little bit of, just a wee bit of glass. Just a wee bit of glass. Where is our glass? So they are working on that. So that'll be that. And then we can start getting the research site down there, which is great. They've already built all that stuff. So let's get another worker down. Or say that, where would the Hyperloop go? Ooh, we're about at Hyperloop distance, actually. So let's pop down somewhere. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. There. And that has no power. But let's pop down. No, let's pop down this solar farm. Pop that down. There. Which looked like that also had maintenance. Wonderful. And then let's get another worker hub down. But no, we'll leave that for now. We'll leave that for now. We can do that next time. So that's going to be cool. So that'll join up all of our territories, which I'm quite excited about. Because at that point... I mean, we've gone most of the way around the planet. Once we've got there... Like, that one is... 
like roughly two tiles. This one will be almost two. And then it's like one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, well, about three to connect up to our old base. That's really not that much at all. We'd have to sort of go through this direction, though, to avoid a flooding. But yeah, that's really, really cool. The fact that we are so close to having a circum... Circumnavin? Circum... I can't think of the word. I'm tired and I might be ill, so I'm struggling. Anyway, I did say earlier that we've probably hit that, that half hour limit. As it is, this video is now pretty much half hour, so we're definitely going to stop now. So, hope you're enjoying Per Aspera. If you are, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, all those good things. Don't forget to stream on Wednesdays at 7pm UK time. It'd be wonderful to see you there to say hello. Otherwise, I will see you next time in Per Aspera, and as always, thank you very much for joining me.